everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CIG TV. I'm Donna Bush with your news update. We begin with the recent announcement of the 2016 Heroes Day theme on agriculture. This week we had the chance to speak with Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Kurt Tibbetts, who reminded us of the importance of those in our farming industry. Farmers are not people who live exciting lives. Um, they're not in the glamour world, so most of them are only heard about and not seen except for those who go visiting on um, market at the grounds on a Saturday morning or, or at Kamana Bay. But many of them are dedicated people and certainly it is very fitting that we recognize not only those who are still here now but those of the past. Because if we, if we think about it, the truth is there was a time in the history of this country when everyone lived from the land and the sea. And while life has changed, and the whole world is motorized, should I say, and we, can, we have access to either by air or sea bringing in anything that we need, the fact is we still need to do the best we can to become as self-sufficient as we can. So I think it's very appropriate that the 2016 National Heroes Day focus is on the farming community. In other news, many more SciFEC students attended the second day of the fourth annual Further Education Center Careers Fair on Friday. Organizers from the SciFEC Careers Advisory Office put on the event that attracted more businesses and potential employers such as Elian, a company with global reach, as well as many other private sector and various uh, government entities. We took our CIG TV camera to talk to not only officials, but some of the students. Well, obviously, you know, in the school system, we do careers, and you have the life skill. Let's speak to them about the types of careers, but actually having a hands-on and being able to speak to the professionals about what it takes to be in a certain career is certainly invaluable. And it also will provide the students with an opportunity to say, well, OK, I like this particular career. Do I still like it because they've now told me what it requires? or do I have that interest to go on to attain the subjects or that I need to pursue it? So I think for them, it's hands-on. I've been looking around, getting contacts with the organizations. I've been talking with them, learning more about their organization, learning about what they do and how they contribute to the community. I think it's a good idea because it helps you get a job. I think it's going to benefit me because um, normally I wouldn't have time or, you know, to go out there to all these businesses that aren't near to each other. So it would benefit me to have them all at one place so that I can get to them and access them easily. Join us on Monday where we'll hear from education counselor Winston Connolly and past SciFEC student Tavis Walters. As always, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush wishing you a wonderful and safe weekend and hoping you'll join me here again on Monday. Until then, bye-bye for now.